going to do our three reads strategy, and here's the problem we're going to work with today. So let's do our first read. First read, what is the story about? Huh? Let's read our story together. Sarah purchased five pink balloons and six green balloons for her birthday party. Tyler purchased eight green balloons and four blue balloons for his party. So, what is the story about? Go ahead and jot that down for our first read. What is this story about? Is the story given us? There's five pink balloons, one to three balloons. That's good. Third read. Third read. What mathematical questions could be asked? Huh? Excellent. So if this were a true story problem with a question, there is no question here. What questions could be asked? using this information. Come up with at least one question that could be asked for this story problem. Question that you came up with. How, 
How much balloons were purchased? Ooh, so how many balloons were purchased in all? Excellent question. Brock, what's your question? What fraction of the balloons are green? Ooh, so now this is dealing with fractions. What fraction of all of the balloons are green? What questions did you come up with? If Sarah's pink balloons popped, how many balloons are Ooh, so if Sarah's pink balloons popped and went away, how many balloons are there now? Excellent. Morgan? This balloon cost eight dollars. How much does Sarah's house cost? Ooh, so now we're doing money. Excellent. So how much would it be if each balloon was eight dollars? And Elias, what did you if come up with? Each balloon was triple. Then, then what fraction of the balloons is green? Ooh, tough one. Excellent. I want you to use your dry erase boards now. Solve the mathematical question that you came up with. Show your answer in your work and be ready to explain with us how you got your answers. You have five. Five is representing the pink. Good. Six is representing. Where's three coming from? Oh, I'm in four. So four would be the blue. What are you missing here? There you go. Good job. Um, what do you have to have as your answer? What do you need with your answer? There you go. Good. I like that you're doing some side work, Jakaya. Nice job.
last night. So, oh, you got that. So now what about Tyler? And four is 12. How long would you do 12, 12, 8? All right, we're going to look, take a look at Brax. So, Brax, you chose, what was your question? Um, what fraction of blooms are green? How did you solve to find out what fraction of blooms were green? Well, first of all, I did 6 plus 8 plus 4 plus 5, and I drew an arrow for 6, six plus 8, which equals 14. And 4 plus 5 is mental math, which is 9. And then I added 14 plus 9 and got 23, which would be my denominator because that would be the total parts. And there's and there's 14 green balloons, which means that would be my numerator. 10 finger blue. Woo! Fabulous job. So 14 20 thirds of the balloons are green. Excellent. Jakaya, what about your question that you came up with? If Sarah's pink balloons popped, how many balloons are left? Um, I did an addition and I added 5 plus 6, then I, which is 11, then I added 8 plus 4, which is 12, so I added 11 plus 12 plus 23, so 23 is my answer, so I had to subtract 5 from 23. Why did you subtract 5 from 23? Because it, it, cause she had 5 pink balloons, so I had to subtract 5 and I had to add 8. So those are the balloons that popped, right? Excellent job. Check out. Elias? You ready? Elias, are you ready? What was your question that you came up with? My question was, very number was triple. What fraction of the green is green? And how did you solve for that? Because you got a lot going on in your board here. What would you do? Well, I did 5 times 3 is 15. Why? Because it's, it's triple. Triple means 3. Okay. Three fixed triangles. Now, I, then I did 4 times 3, which is 12. And then... I got to the harder part, which is 14. Oh, yeah. 14 times 3. Which is four which I did all this together. Then after that, I added all these together and it's 68. Okay. Then I did that and then I rolled in. This is 42. So. That's okay. Good job. Okay, excellent. And Corey, what was your question? How 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 much balloons were purchased? So what did you have to do to solve yours? I I I so I know I I did five plus six plus eight plus four. So I did 5 plus 6, I knew that was 11. I knew 8 plus 4 was 12, so I picked 11 plus 12 together, and I knew that was 23, because 1 plus 2 is 3, and 1 plus 1 is 2, so that's 23. And 23 balloons were purchased. Excellent 10-finger woo, Corey. Woo! And Elias. Woo! And Jakaya. Woo! Morgan, you ready for us? What'd you do? Um, my question was, if you going to cause... Mm, this was a hard one, wasn't it? How did you solve this one? First I did 11 times 8. Then I did 12 times 8. So we're still not sure on that, huh? That's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over that one with you to figure out that. So Morgan wanted to say each balloon was eight dollars, and there's 23 balloons total. So we'd really have to do 23 times eight. Have we learned double digit multiplication yet? No. No, we're not quite ready for that. But I am gonna show you exactly how to do that. Okay. Fantastic job, guys. You may raise your board. Excellent job today. Double digit multiplication.